Hello everyone, welcome back. Dave with Rope here. Right, so I'm picking up, I think it's been two days since the last video. We'll have to check, but it's been like one or two days. I've, um, did my hot wiring skill, got the mechanics and the electronics up off camera, just because it was tedious um, to do. But I've did that now, so I can now hot wire cars. So I did that, and also I, it's not, it's not very much, literally I, can't really, can I show you? Yeah, cut some trees down. That's pretty much all I spent my time doing. Cut them down and making four stack logs. Um, four, four stack logs, four log stacks. Jesus. Right, so that's, that's what I've been doing off camera. Not much, nothing really adventurous has happened. I, uh, oh, oh, oh yes, and I, also cooked some stews. Well, not cooked. I've made. I haven't cooked them yet. I got to remember. I haven't cooked them. I need to cook them. Otherwise, I will eat them raw, and I will get very sick. So I've been just getting through the. Uh, I used the stuff that was stale, and some of the stuff that was fresh. But uh, I need to start using it because it will still eventually go off, even though it's frozen. It just gives it an increased lifespan. I couldn't tell you how much, but I'd, I'd have thought quite a lot. I think the stuff that went stale was probably close to being stale in the first place. Other than that, I've still, I've still got to organise this. That's the bit that's... Ugh. Because there's so much shit. But I'd rather have all the shit and then have to sort it out than not have all the shit. Oh yeah, and I read a... Uh, got through all the magazines just so... I stop picking up the same bloody magazine over and over again. I am still bored. I managed to get rid of his um, feeling sad because I watched a cooking show. But it didn't completely get rid of the boredom. Alright, just grab the crisps. I do need to cook my meals at some point, but today I want to go out and I think there's one more bag of crisps in there. Uh, I want to go at the front and get the vehicles that are at the front along with any propane cans and, and general goodies. Right, that'll do. I think I got enough water. Yeah, there's enough. I ain't going that far. So I will take with me, it should get rid of the boredom in doing this as well, some gas. Still foggy, lovely. That's how I like it. Fucking foggy. Right. I don't want to use my gun. I do still need to start using it, but I want to use it when I'm much further away from my base. I did grab those two. They were the two that were the two working vehicles from down the other entrance. Right, we shall see what has uh, what's arrived at my doorstep while I've been preoccupied doing other things. Hopefully not much, but I, I, I presume stuff will still spawn in up until day 200 and something, when it should be at its peak. And then I don't think stuff will spawn in. I believe. And then it should be a case of killing everything off. Is that a leather jacket? Yeah, I should take that. Because the leather jacket, that saved my ass last time. And I want to find a double barrel shotgun, hopefully. Fucking fog. Uh, right, at least, I can, at least it's not grey, like my stupid fucking van. Right, that's a fucking looks good. Hmm. 50 up a 
person. Couldn't hurt. Just to take it. Even if I scrap it for parts and bits like that later on. Right. Nicely done. Tiniest amount of gas. One down. I expect those zombies will be coming for me. Why is that not attached to my back? Yeah, I stripped them just so I could make the uh, sheet ropes to make the four log stacks. Desert Eagle, but he's got 9mm reins. Oh, that's fucking pointless. St no, I do like the night sticks. Cause you can stick them on your uh, belt. Fairly heavy load. That's because he has a gas can in his hand. Or in his. I don't know. On his person somewhere. I don't get why it's a box. I presume... I presume that's in his pockets? But then, I don't know, a gas can in your pockets ain't gonna work. But it's not in his hands, so... It's a weird one. Right. Let's check this bad boy out. He looks fucked. One, so he's in better condition than the other one. He don't look like it, though. But looks can be deceiving. It's got gas in it, so that's handy. It is, however, locked. So I will smash this window. Done. I should have probably. Hopefully, there's more vans and stuff because I need to start. I should leave this shit. Um, start getting 
the like barbecues and stuff. We can still fit them in a the car, so it's not a big deal. It's the quite handy thing is you can. It's weird you can put something. Well, I don't want to. Don't want them to fix it. But it, it does make sense. You could like the water cooler, for example. I think that's like weight of 30 or encumbrance of 30. But like a passenger seat can only support 20. But you can still put the water cooler of 30 on a passenger seat that takes 20. So I don't know if that's something they did on purpose, like got wrong or did on purpose. It makes sense because if you think about it, you could fit a, w a water cooler in a in a seat of a car. So it makes sense that you could. And I'd hate it if they changed it because it's very handy. Right. I should have checked it really, but I think it looks like he's in condition. But as I say, looks can be deceiving. Perfect, but everything be completely fucked underneath the hood. nice and quiet. I like it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I do love zombie games. I mean, it's annoying. Well, it's not annoying. It's, it's it, this would never happen, you know. You couldn't really get this level of a zombie outbreak. Not that zombies would ever happen, but if they ever did, this this level of destruction, I I couldn't imagine it ever getting to this stage. It would have to be like, like I said before, like a meteorite or so that passes by, and then the radiation does the whole earth in. Everyone's infected, as they say, regardless of whether you're bit or not. So even if you just die of old age, you still would technically come back. That's the only way it's a real threat, you could say. Um, but even then, it'd only be like, it'd be quite sporadic, is, is that the word? I don't know. I mean, it'd be, um, 
It wouldn't be as chaotic as... Well, it would still be a bit chaotic. I'm not saying it wouldn't, but... Uh, the initial chaos would be a bit like, what the fuck, oh my god. But, um, I think it'd be kept under control quite well. Right, it, uh, it'd just be people would have to learn to live with, like, the idea that when you do die, you're going to come back as a bloody zombie. So, I presume you would. I don't know. Like you, you would. Oh, well, you would, I suppose, sleep with your partner still. But then it's a knowing choice that if you die in your sleep. But then that's, that's still dangerous for everyone else. So, you'd have to, like, sleep in separate beds. You have to strap one of your arms to the bed, keep the other one free so you can unstrap yourself in the morning. But at least if you did die in your sleep, you wouldn't, you couldn't get out of bed if you're a zombie because you wouldn't be able to unstrap yourself. Um, yeah, but the world would sort of figure a way out. Right? Okay. How it gets so bad at the start of like the movies and stuff, I don't really understand. Um, like to the level. Because it always depicts there being quite a few. Like even, for example, Night of the Living Dead. I mean, you don't know what, how that started, but at the, at the start of that film, there's already a lot of <clears throat> a lot of zombies you know and it's like okay so <laughs> obviously you're gonna get well it's like the the meteorite's gonna pass by the earth and then from that moment i mean how many people die a second on the planet quite a few i'm sure same as how many is born every second um so say everyone who dies in that second that's throwing out numbers here, but say 10,000 maybe? Obviously it's different, but you got wars going on, it'd be crazy with the fact that there are wars going on, but um, if there's no wars going on, it's just standard. Every day, you get the 10,000 that just die, so you get 10,000 of them, they'll all come back. They'll instantly bite the first person because you wouldn't know what the fuck's going on. That person then, because they have been bitten, would it would speed it up. So they'll turn the other the one that's on the that turned them would maybe get someone else the one they just turned might get someone so you'd go be a bit like what the fuck's going on before people start managing to detain them without getting bitten um and then you got the police turning up army turning up but then you got to think every other second there's going to be more people that have died. Hmm. I don't know. It's too much to think about. <laughs> it's stupid thinking about all this shit, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's... It doesn't seem very likely that it could get as bad as it's depicted in the films. I think in the films it's like shit's... I don't know, like people watch it, ignore it, and don't. but then again, it's movies in it. It's got to be entertaining. I'm the sick twat that gets entertainment from thinking too much into shit. Ah, uh, he's pretty crap. I wish his fog would piss off. Um, but yeah, I don't know, plus you've got to think how many, how many aircraft carriers and massive boats are out at sea, so, like, even in all these zombie films and shit, even in bloody The Walking Dead, you've got to think it's, it's like, 
there's still going to be quite a few people because there's a fair few like naval vessels on the planet and they can all support quite a few quite a few people you know? and all you got to do is park them up on in a, in a port somewhere just off off the shore like so nothing can get you go back and forth with a little rubber dinghy especially like when you've got like navy seals and all the special forces they'll be doing it elite fucking style he'll tr -tr 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 secure the port fucking barricade that off but they never never mention all these huge fucking uh, floating cities I hear you you fucker It's like Day of the Dead, I love Day of the Dead, but it's crazy that I know they, they think they're the last, but that's a just as far as, as they know like, because they can't pick anyone on the um, the radios. But there's the can't they can't be the last people. forced to live in close proximity with other people. That's the problem. But hey. Uh, this one was alright, wasn't it? I'll use this one for gathering all the propane, uh, propane cans and barbecues because I want to take like Two, maybe, uh, wood, with, like the charcoal, burning, barbecues. I don't like using the gas ones, they just seem pointless. And you can use that for filling up your propane torch. It's just pointless using it for um, a barbecue. Alright, go on. Alright, fuck me, seriously? Two spots for the barrels that I want to take. If I can ever fucking find them in this goddamn fog. the logs. It's good though, it's got five logs in it, which is fucking crazy. And then pick up the barrel. Because that thing is a boost. It is a boost. I think it holds like 800 water. It's fucking crazy. But it's just all, always going to be dirty water. Which isn't a big deal when you've got um, plenty of barbecues. As long as you've got loads of barbecues, buckets, and cooking pots, you should be all good. I mean, the only way zombies are really a threat, threat, obviously in numbers, obviously, and it's the, they are still dangerous, I mean, they're always going to be, it's not, you know, they don't sleep and all that shit, so, it's going to be a long time till you ever feel 
really, really safe. And be able to get a good night's sleep. But I mean, the only real threat from zombies are like the, the running zombies. But then, it's, do you really class them as zombies? They tend to be more infected, don't they? Oh yeah, all this shit. Fireball. Um, yeah, they tend to be like, like the 28 days and 28 weeks later, where they just sprint. They used to be terrifying. Jesus. That's when there's no fun. I mean, <laughs> as sick as it sounds, you get a bit of fun at this. But, um,. If they made a game like, well, you can. I mean, you can technically put this, make them sprinting zombies. I've never did it. It would be interesting to see what it's like, actually. But, I mean, that would be fucking horrific. Oh, oh, oh no, thank you. It's bad enough as it is. Just with the constant of them just always being there. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to move that box. That box. A fucking box. A fucking box. Um, the fact they're like always there, always coming. But the the ones that can sprint, those ones are just beyond a joke. few vehicles. Most of it is just going to be fuel storage at one point. I mean, the original Dawn of the Dead shows it quite well. It's like, originally, because you had people that they all got on quite well, really. Um, they have their ups and downs, but you always get that when you're that close proximity with people. But they are all nice and secure. Everything was all all good. But then what do you do? I mean, the, same, the exact same thing will happen on this game eventually. It's like, what, what do you do? You're nice and safe. They can't, they're like the zombies can't get you. But what would you do? I mean, <laughs> in that, in the case of Dawn of the Dead, obviously there's just the the four of them. So you had the the one couple and the other two. Um. Well, no, one of them at that point was bit trying to secure it, so he was going to die anyway. So it'd have been the three of them. So if they, if they just, well, you wouldn't have even been able to stay in there. You'd have had to leave at some point, because no matter what you do, you're going to have to eventually grow food. So they wouldn't have been able to stay there anyway. I'm distract distracting myself. Um, so yeah, I mean, I suppose in their case, I don't know, I think they were just hoping it was going to like wash over, like blow over and all that been grabbing whatever vital things they can from that 
shopping mall. Loading up into a chopper and really, I don't know, finding somewhere. I mean, like they do on Day of the Dead. Getting to a hop in the old whirly bird and uh, find an island somewhere. Soaking up sunshine. Um, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's what you can do, really. As long as you are in a situation where you have. What am I fucking doing? The ability to grow crops. Get food. You want to find a little island somewhere and. It's a big under. under uh, it'd be a big. Uh, sorry, a big, big undertaking to, to repopulate the planet. You know, it's going to be. Mankind's pretty fucked at that point. always make me wonder, like, did the animals in all those films, like, were they infected as well? It's, uh, they never really show it or mention it. Don't get me wrong, I expect most of the animals never had a chance to even come back as a undead version, because as soon as they, you know, were killed, they were just munched. They had the chance to die of old age. Right, I will think how much did you go in here? Pardon me. Okay, so he's got a bit. Some barbecues. Oh, there's another one of those oil drums, so I will go grab him. Is he still? So he's carrying a fucking metal drum in his backpack. It just seems utterly insane. And this could never happen nowadays, especially with the, the sheer level of military technology. It's like in the first first series of The Walking Dead, for example, like you know when Rick climbs in that tank and it's like they're all dead in there and I'm like, oh, that, 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 what what how why how did the tank what you're in a fucking tank. Like I presume the people that were in there were in good health when they were in there. I mean You're in a fucking tank. I can't remember it completely, but I don't think the zombies were climbing on top, so... You could sort of go out through the... Like the, um, the commander's sort of... I don't know what you call it, door at the top, on the, on the turret. Um, and look around. I don't think they were climbing up. That's 
I think the only time I've seen them climb up on a tank is in when you fight the last boss in Dead Rising, but that's fucking Dead Rising for fuck's sake. But I don't know. But yeah, I mean, if you're in a tank, I mean, Jesus, I know it's going to use a chunk of fuel, but... With the amount of tanks I'm sure, like, America, for example, has, you could make, like, a fucking wall, you know, like, sh 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 of tanks all facing like that. <laughs> Just <laughs> live in there. What's that you say? I feel too much into this shit. Well, <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. So, would, would I like it if they put a tank in the game? I mean, the idea of you being able to actually try your tank is beyond. I mean, I'm sure you could probably figure it out, maybe. But, um, I don't know, I think it would take, it depends. As long as they don't have it so you can drive and shoot at the same time, it's like, no, you'd have to be able to drive it, and then if you were to, well, you'd never be able to, you'd have to, <laughs> you're going to find a magazine of how to use tanks. I get the feeling I could turn a tank on. Well, this is me getting the feeling I could turn a tank on and maybe move it. He says. But, I don't know. Especially when you see the old school tanks, they look quite simple. And I'd have thought they'd have kept it quite simple in modern day tanks, so I would have thought they'd have went crazy. If anything, they'd have probably made it simpler. I don't know. I'd like it if they gave you the option in this game to, like, um, like attempt it, like, try and figure it out yourself, you know, it might take you a hell of a lot longer f to figure it out, but, like, the generators, for example, I think you could figure it out, maybe if you get it wrong, properly wrong, you damage it, but, like, I don't know. I just feel like there's certain things you could, at least you should be able to attempt to, attempt, or attempt. Oh, I'll take that barbecue, and I'll take that gas. <clears throat> Take that book. I mean, I love I love Shaun of the Dead as well. That's brilliant. And even they they hint at it, sort of. I believe they hint at there being like an asteroid or a meteorite that's gone past the Earth, or, or like a, it's either that or it's like a satellite that's fallen back to come back from space, and it's brought something with it basically. But that's the only way it ever. You know, you could get some sort of weird radiation or something that's picked up. But even in even in Shaun of the Dead, like. 
it's gone from being okay to chaos overnight. And it's like, duh, they can't ever show the initial start, start, because I think it would take quite a lot of, like, incompetence, I don't know if that's the right word, or just bad luck for it to ever get to the stage that you needed to be at for a movie to be successful. But I think that's why this could never really ever, none of it could ever really happen. Because it's the start, I think people would be able to get well, I mean, especially now, now people would be like, oh, it's zombies, that's crazy, it's not real, but zombies are actually happening. Whereas back then, when it was first, when they first came, like, were a thing, um, it wasn't popular, so people would have been like, the fuck is happening? Whereas now you'd be like, that's a fucking zombie, and smash his face in. <laughs> so there is that, obviously. I'm sure most people would just be like, it's not real. But yeah, the only thing is just the sheer amount of people that so say die every couple of seconds on the planet. I don't know. I've got a fair amount of the stuff I want. I'm still going to try and pick my way through the rest of the shit that's down there. But I do need to... I need to move these bodies, but they can wait for a while. They're quite far away from where I'm constantly staying, so they shouldn't affect my mood too much, but I do need to get rid of them. I need to bring these logs over so I can start doing the floor for somewhere to park my cars. To also really bring the barbecues over. I should just start doing that now. My crops, I did plant some carrot seeds, but I think they've gone bleh because I forgot to water them for so long. I haven't even got a watering can. That's one of the things I do need to look for. just these two. And I know I probably put it somewhere. I just do not remember where. Too busy thinking about impossible things, impossible scenarios. Um. Oh my sweet golly gosh. It's in that black car, isn't it? And I haven't bought the black car in. Okay, so I do have to go back out. Fuck, I'll do it now. He's still underweight. 
he's hungry, but um, it's not a big deal. I thought I did. I was like, right? Okay. So I watched um, Total Recall the other night, the original. So I don't know if anyone's actually listening to this, or anyone who's listening has actually watched it, but uh, what do you all think? Do you think he was actually still in Recall, or do you think he really was the undercover um, Hauser? You know, Douglas Quaid, was he actually Hauser, or was he... Douglas Quaid that's still in Recall. Because I am slightly leaning towards the fact he is still in Recall. Because there's so much that makes you think he is. Oh, but it's a hard one. It is so, um, it's like it is left to you to decide. But the fact that when he goes there, obviously he sees when he describes Melina, it is actually Melina. They show a picture of that could affect why he sees her that exact model while he's under. You get little like pictures of concept art that's being flashed up, and it's all like you get, literally get shown the reactor. It's like, well, they couldn't possibly know because the only ones who know about the reactor are the few scientists on, a few people on Mars, like Michael Ironside. And um, the main guy, I forget his name, the one from Robocop. So it's like, and they do mention everything that happens. It's like, oh, but then it's because right at the start, he's dreaming about Melina. But I don't see everyone says, I've heard a lot of people think that. Well, they say that the, per the girl at the front, the start, is her, but I couldn't recognise it. She didn't look like Melina to me, but that might just be me. I didn't, like, pause the screen and fucking look. I just looked like a different woman at the start to actually Melina, but it might probably... It probably was. I'm just not great with faces. So I was like, OK, he's dreaming about someone on Mars, and he's been on Mars. But I just didn't... I I didn't think the girl he was dreaming about was Melina. But everyone keeps telling me it is. But I just couldn't see it. But, but, but yeah, I mean, if he's dreaming about her before he's even gone to recall, then maybe he actually is Hauser. But then, why is Hauser? I don't know. I don't know. So what do you all think? Is a I love the film. It's a total mind fuck. Right, I've got to all this shit over. Getting myself so fucking distracted talking about movies and such. But yeah, I really love that film. Stick it right there, maybe there. Stick it there. Yeah, let's have a look. Storage for it. Uh, capacity. No, it's got capacity carpentry, you fucking dickhead. I'm gonna add some water just so I can see. God, is it not? Why is it not? Hello, come on. Is it not got enough water in it to even be classed as having water in it? It should hold a hell of a lot of water. I don't want to just keep pouring fresh water in it to demonstrate, but. Annoyingly, I don't think I poured enough in for it to even register as having water in it. 
irritatingly. I think you can break your leg if you're very unlucky, going extremely overweight. I, I think I've had it happen to me before, years ago, back when I first played the game. I can't remember for sure, but I feel like it's something I've had happen. I think I went downstairs and I was really overweight and it broke his leg, I think. Or his ankle, he, he fell, he like stepped down wrong. If I remember correctly, which I very may well not. It's very unlikely I'll ever use more than one. I'm pretty sure they can take a hell of a lot of stuff in them. I hope you've all played Death Stranding as well, because Death Stranding 2 looks like it's going to be absolutely fucking incredible. It's a very hard game to get into, I think, for people. Um, but I do believe it's very rewarding if you do. The story is just utterly crazy. But I mean, would you expect anything less from Hideo Kojima? I mean, the man who brought you, what, Silent Hill? Cool. And brings you all the goodies, though. So I can only imagine, I mean, I've seen the trailer for the second one, and I'm like, oh my god. And I showed it to my friend, but I, I forgot to tell her she needs to finish the first one before she watches it. So I think I might have fucked it up for her, unfortunately. But she was very, she hasn't got very far. She was saying she, uh, I think she's only got her first, she's only just got the blood grenades, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, if you've only, you, you, don't, you don't even know what's going on. I said, if she wants to play the second one, I'll tell her what, um, what happens in the first one. Just because the second one looks so good that I don't want her to miss out on playing it, just because she's not got the time to, to play it. But then, if she hasn't got the time to play the first one, she's not really going to have time to play the second one, is she? Let's be fair. But I just feel bad because it's such a insane game. I spent so long on it just building roads so that other players would find it easier. Just because I wanted them to actually play the fucking game. Because I knew most people... Pardon me, I just burped. Um... <laughs> Most people wouldn't want to play it because it's basically like a walking simulator. And it's like, well, oh well, it's not. There's a lot more to it. I know you do do a lot of walking, but like the the, the general beauty, just the walking. Half of it's like these lush green moss-covered like rocks that you know, like you can literally watch Prometheus and be like, look, I've walked across that in in Death Stranding. You know that landscape. It looks, it's really good. It's so good. And the story, I'm not going to go into it, obviously, because if you are, anyone is listening to this and hasn't played it, it would ruin it. But the story is so fucking good. 
and eventually you do get to points where you get your guns and you get to shoot stuff so it's not just all about carrying parcels you could literally play the game and only carry like the bare basic parcels that you need to in progression because half of it is just you take it with you because you're going to that place so if you're going there anyway you may as well take this stuff but yeah it's a great game great fucking game great graphics great actors like Norman Reedus you've got bloody Galiciano del Toro del Toro thing the dude I forget his bloody name Delicio del Toro blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the guy from Pan's Labyrinth and all that stuff um, And he did Blade 2 Blade 2 But yeah, he's in it and he got Oh, I forget his fucking name as well The guy from The played Hannibal in the TV series Mads Madison, that's it He's brilliant in it. There's loads. It's great. It's just such a fucking good game. And the second one looks like it's going to be absolutely fucking insane. Ugh. Just makes you want it now. So, like, ugh. Because I bought a PS5. But, um, I'm worried they're going to be like, oh, it's only good. You need to have a PS5 Pro if you really want to play it and enjoy it. And I'll be like, oh, for fuck's sake. I hate it. When I hate it. See, that's one of the things I hate about consoles. I know they're easy, and it's nice and easy just to come in, switch it on, boom, off you go, but they, they're they such fucking money-grabbing bastards that all they want is, well, all they want is your money. That's why they'll sell you a PS5, you even know. In their minds, they're getting ready to launch the PS5 like Slim or the PS5 fucking Pro. But they're like, we got to flog all these PS5s and make fucking 500 or quid off of each of these. And by the end of the year, we're going to be like, get ready for the PS5 Slim. So everyone who's bought the PS5 can be like, what? And as soon as they buy the PS5 like, Slim, they'll be like, oh, PS5 Pro. Now you get to really enjoy the games. And you're like, what? And at that point, you've mortgaged your house. <laughs> get your kids out because you can't feed them anymore. <laughs> but you've got all the Playstations. <laughs> bastards. I'll tell you why I say this because I bought on the PS4 Final Fantasy 7 the remake and I was like oh brilliant and they're like oh you gotta wait for number two like part two and I was like oh shit and they're like only gonna be on like only on PlayStation 5 and I was like well but I got a PS4 and like, well you need a PS5 and I'm like what if I knew that, I wouldn't have got so into, like, the first part that now I'm like, I need to play the second part, because I need to carry it on. I don't know if it's out there. It might be out now, and I haven't bothered. But since then, I bought a fucking PC, so. But it just pisses me off, because it's like, I played so much of it. Got all, like, there's a, there's a piece of equipment you get on there. It's, like, stupidly good. And I managed to get it. You have to beat, like, Sephiroth crazy expect I think you have to get like an S on the final boss dude. So I basically did that. Got this armband that <coughs> basically charge keeps your limit charging. Your limit break. It just constantly charges and so you keep doing your limit break over and over. You start the battle with a full limit break so you're like boom we'll do it and then you get it again. It's fucking brilliant. But that item will carry over to the next game. So it's like, oh, now I've got this item. Because th the fact that I beat Sephiroth in the way that you need to do it to get that item, I was like, that was absolutely, like, I, I was I was driven in sweat. Because I was like, oh my god, this is insane, this is insane. But I did it. Got the item. I was like, oh my god. And then it was like, yeah, now you've got to get a PS5 if you want to play the second part. And I'm like, oh. So, so I went out and I bought a PlayStation 5. Purely so I could play fucking Final Fantasy Part 2. And I bet by the time they do Final Fantasy Part 3, you'll need to have either the PS5 Pro or a PS6. Uh, but I know you can get it on the on Steam. Um 
I, 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 I don't want to do it all over again. There's no way in hell I'm going to be able to beat that fucking beat Sephiroth in the way you need to 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 get the that armband thing. So it's just like, oh, for fuck's sake. But the game is great. They did a great job on the remake. It looks impressive. It'd just be nice when it's actually fully open world, because you can only go round in the um. Oh, I forget what it's called. Like it's not Mega C, but you know you're in. Oh fuck! I should know. I've played so much of it. It's like a big generator, basically, like the city that's in it. not the generator, no, you're in the big city and you've got each sector's got a generator um, but you can only go in like, I think it's like four of the sectors, but eventually the whole thing is just going to be a part of the massive land and then you'll have everything else to go to but that's what they say, but I don't know I don't know it seems a lot for a Playstation to have depends how they do it Right, it's raining. Is my seeds gonna be or is are my seeds going to be okay or are they fucked now? Parched. I think they're dead though is the problem. They might not be, I don't know if they, they technically die, but they have been down for a while and I haven't watered them. Because I didn't find a watering can. I do need to find one. Oh, here we go. Let's have a look. Um, metal drum. 12 out of 800. That's crazy, isn't it? Crazy storage. <coughs> but you could never put pure water in there. Even if you put it inside and add in fresh water, it'd, it'd be dirty. So that's cool. Right. Um, I need to cook. I should be able to cook even though it's raining. So I will take a... Okay, I'm pretty sure you can burn a doodle. And a scrap wood. I'll take a sheet of paper in case. Right. Now ideally, I would carry them all. So I do them all in one go, and then just freeze them. But they will weigh a ton. Now, from my understanding, you should still be able to cook, even though it's raining because they have um, lids, but we shall see. Add fuel. Can I not light it? Why can't I light it? I can't go light it. Oh shit. Um, just put the chihuahua put the food in the barbecue. I swear to God, if this doesn't work and I ruin all my food, I'll cry. Alright, now quickly run. Get some fucking matches. Or a lighter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lighter. Give me the fucking lighter. God for that. Then we just sit back and wait for them to cook. They should, in theory, cook at the same time. I think I got five ingredients, or you know, the max ingredients in all of them. I 
I need to give them a wash, really. Wash is closing. Jobs are good. I think one of them is a bit less than the others. Oh, no, oh, they might not be. Right, so I will freeze all of them. that one and that one. Eat half of that one. Chuck the rest in the fridge for tomorrow. It's not bad because I think I was pretty hungry before I ate it. Um, still going down but if I keep by the time I've ate all of those it should hopefully start being back on the going up which will be good is there enough water in these butts now for me to have a quick wash not yet I can wash myself though Dirty, bloody, only 1% bloody, really, so it's not even worth it. Like my skin, it's the clothes that's filthy. I could just go up to the lake and do it. I need to start fishing at some point as well, but it's not the most urgent, urgent, because I still got a good amount of food. But now in my luck, I'll wait till I've got fuck all food left, and I'll be like, oh shit, I need to fish. Right. So I also need to, at some point, try and go to the hospital and get as many goodies from there as I can. Need to get more fuel. But that's going to be the fun one, because I'm going to have to take a generator with me. But, I mean, you know, the amount of times I've had to go there and kill all the zombies anyway, so I'll just do that again. Light. Where the hell have I put my lighter? Ugh, um... Gun shop. I need to... What's that? That's drowsy, in it? Discomfort and drowsy, okay. Um... What's my skills at? Did I finish the carpentry book? Four, so I think I did. Or at least I did enough of it to get quite a good boost. Electrical, I haven't got up enough yet. Mechanics, I could read the next mechanics book. Um, I do need to do my carpentry. I have got enough, I believe, to build a composter so that will be handy um, not the most urgent at the moment but I do need to a bookcase would be good ugh, five ugh. three for a small one Ideally, I, I want to try and do more um, metalworking, because I always do carpentry. 
It's just because it's the one you have more readily available to you. But, um, I don't know, it'd be nice to change it up a bit. I've never got very high with my metal working. I need to, that is bloody true, I need to check the generator. I haven't filled up King fuel for quite some time. Oh, that was good. I'm glad I remembered. Alright, gas is okay, but could always do it more. It could definitely do it more. 9, 10, 11, 12, if you include the one I've got now, that will be basically empty. <coughs> um, yeah. try and get all my scrap electronics up together as well at some point I mean I'll be alright for a while there's so many generators dotted around in the army base that even if that one breaks down and I can't repair it I'm still pretty good right so he's very tired ridiculously tired sheets up as well at some point. Sit on the ground. Read my mechanics book. Okay. Right, it's not been too bad. I've, I've got the stuff that I set out for today, so I can't complain. Um... I do tend to get a bit distracted. It, the, the more quiet I am and focused on here I am, the more I get done. But if I chat random shit, I tend to get less done. But it's all good. I still get there. It's not like there's much of a rush, really, because the power's already gone out. I expect the water's gone off as well. Right. Well, that's it for the day. Cheers, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Take it steady.